Welcome back to the finals of the National Heads Up Poker Championship presented by GoDaddy.com. Match one went the way of Eric Seidel, so now Chris Moneymaker is up against it. Chris needs to take two in a row to win the title. Chris, do you feel like you need to regroup for match two, or are you comfortable with your game plan? Uh, I'm still comfortable with my game plan. I didn't uh, run particularly well in the first match, and I didn't play particularly well. Eric seems to have my number here, but, uh, you know, it's been a, you know, winner go home the whole way through the tournament. I'm just back in that boat again, so uh, it's time to regroup. Eric, I'll let you off the hook this time. You're probably not going to give me any strategy, but what did you do between matches? Oh, nothing. I just closed my eyes. Uh, it's been a long day, so I just, just, uh, the rest of my ass for a few minutes. All right, I'll let you guys get at it. Let's I don't get like the cards in the air. We're ready for the start of match two. Chris Moneymaker and Eric Seidel. One of them will be walking away as the seventh national heads up poker champion. Seidel, best poised to be that champion considering he's up 1 0 so far. $750,000 to the winner. Moneymaker had a tough go of things in that first match. We'll see what kind of adjustments he's made. No reason to think Seidel's going to be doing anything differently. Ten deuce for Eric. Gives Chris the walk. That is, that's a good sign. I like that. That's a good hand out of the gate. All right. Now we're talking. Chip leader. Chip leader. <laughs> I don't think I, yeah, did I win the first hand last time? I don't think so. I think you held that distinction the whole match. Tell you one thing, I haven't been crushed like that in a long time. That was that was a lesson. Probably since the last time I played you last year. Moneymaker's right in the fact that that is his first chip lead of this championship final. Raise it, 20 total. Queen nine, min raise. Seidel with queen 10. He calls. Ace four six misses Check. both players. Eric checks. Chris bets 25,000. There's the first adjustment I can see. Moneymaker wasn't continuation betting on the button every time last match. First and second blood. A promising start for Chris Moneymaker. A reminder of the format, everything resetting for match two. Starting stacks, 800,000. Starting blinds, five and 10,000. And the game, as always, is no limit Texas Hold'em in this best of three championship match. We began with 64 players vying for the national heads up poker title. The unforgiving aspect of this event is that half of those players are eliminated with every round. Outlasting the field is one of the toughest tasks in poker. Chris Moneymaker and Eric Seidel have done it. These two, the last competitors remaining, with the national heads-up poker crown on the line. Jack Trey for Seidel. He limps in. Eight Trey for Moneymaker, checks. Eric Perez is Jack. Check, check. Moneymaker's got Jack. Ten of clubs gives Moneymaker a gut shot. Chris bets 25,000. Eric calls. Chris being a little more aggressive in the opening stages of this match. Four of hearts, Seidel's Jack's the best hand. Chris bets 40,000. 40,000 at the bet. Eric calls. Eight high. And he'll take the pot. Clearly a different game plan coming into this match for Chris. Didn't work out there, but he shouldn't be results-oriented. A compelling first match, Ali, results in a win for Eric Seidel. Did the opening match play out the way you thought it would? Not exactly. Chris Moneymaker made an adjustment, but not only did he take his foot off the gas, he found the break in the process. <laughs> and once he opened that door for Eric Seidel, Seidel jumped right through it, chipping away at him. Pot after pot went Eric's way, leaving Moneymaker in a three, four, even five to one chip deficit, forcing him to play pre-flop poker. What are you expecting here in match number two? A complete change of pace. What worked for Chris to this point was big pot poker, and I think he's going to go back to that. Eric, of course, is going to make the appropriate adjustments. The one thing I know for sure is this one's going to be over quick. Eric Seidel has flopped kings and has the only spade moneymaker with queens. After Eric checks, Chris bets 27,000. Look at that. 
That's not the moneymaker of last match. Eric calls. Already 94,000 in this pot. Trip Queens for Moneymaker to move in front. Eric checks. Finally, Chris getting lucky a little bit. Moneymaker bets 44,000. Seidel calls. Well, he doesn't have a kicker with his king. That's a reasonably scary board for his hand. Queens full now for Chris. Eric checks. He's not in love with that card either. Moneymaker would essentially have to be bluffing for Seidel's hand to be good. <sighs> Starting to look like you might have something. Chris has bet 88,000. Just under half the pot size. Seidel getting over three to one on a call. He calls, Moneymaker takes it down. Last match, it was wire to wire Eric Seidel. This is the kind of start Chris Moneymaker was hoping for. He's looking to even the series up. Thank you, thank you. And do it quickly. Let's recap match one in our best of three championship. First big moment, Seidel's tens and eights gave him a three to one chip lead and he built that to five to one when he made trip sevens on the river. Moneymaker then made a straight to double up and stay alive, but he couldn't make the big move he needed and Eric Seidel finished it to take a 1-0 lead. Moneymaker doing his best to even the series. Up almost three to two. King eight suited, min raise from Chris. You can see he's got a little pep in his step here. 10-6 for Seidel. He re-raises to 55,000. Seidel looking to squash that pep. Chris calls. Eric pairs his 10. Pretty fortunate flop for Seidel. He bets 55,000. Chris raises to 115,000. Just a little bit over a min raise, and it sure looked like that was something Moneymaker was gonna do if Eric bet, no matter what the board was. Seidel calls, Moneymaker makes kings to move in front. We thought it was a good flop for Seidel. How about an even better turn for Chris, who strangely checks behind? Chris's king is still good after the river. Seidel checks. Moneymaker bets 120,000. Given that Moneymaker checked the turn after he raised, it's going to be tough for Eric to give him credit for a queen, let alone a king. Eric lays it down. <laughs> Guy's got spidey senses. At the very least, it sure felt like Moneymaker had a better 10. Lines have just gone up to six and 12,000. Moneymaker up over two to one now in chips. Starting to pull away, probably gonna keep his foot on the gas, but he wants to proceed with a little bit of caution. Don't be too hasty. GoDaddy.com pocket cam shows Seidel's king deuce. Eric with the min raise. Pocket sevens for Moneymaker. When your opponent feels like you might be speeding, actually picking up a hand is awesome because they don't give you credit for hands. Chris re-raises to 62,000. So far, we've only had two showdowns. The first one, Moneymaker tried to bluff. The second one, he had the trip queens. Seidel folds. Even though Chris does look like he's speeding, Seidel will steer clear with that king deuce. And if you think nerves are getting the best of Eric, think again. This was him in between matches, dozing off in the midst of a championship. Oh, wow, this is where I needed a black Sharpie so bad. <laughs> I am so glad I didn't pledge your fraternity. <laughs> but it really does show, doesn't it, Ali, how unflappable this guy is. Absolutely. How many card rooms can you take a nap in? All that noise in the background? Three-quarter million dollars hanging in the balance? No worries. King nine suited for Seidel. Min raise. Pocket eights for Moneymaker. 
He re-raises to 62,000. Another three bet, and at some point, Eric's going to four bet to try to discipline Chris. Eric calls. That point's not gonna be right here, but he's certainly not laying down. Seidel out flops Moneymaker. He's got kings. Chris bets 65,000. Eric's probably gonna just reel Chris in here. The pot's already big. Maybe not. He raises to 130,000. Seidel saying, if you want to play power poker, Chris, I'm game. Moneymaker re-raises to 240,000. The shirt sleeves are rolled up. The mouth guards are in. Caller. Seidel goes all in. Moneymaker mucks. Well, Seidel looks like he might be more of a lightweight, but he's got heavyweight moves in his arsenal. And that lay down by Moneymaker is going to send a message to Eric Seidel, one that says, I'm willing to gamble whether or not I've got a hand. And Chris Moneymaker watches his chip lead slip away. 2011 National Heads Up Poker Championship ring, courtesy of John Paradiso Jewelry.com. Besides that ring, $750,000, as well as the seventh National Heads Up Poker Championship title on the line. It's a good looking piece of bling. I know you like that, don't you? I can see you sporting that. I'd have to get invited to the event first. <laughs> <laughs> Seidel with Ace Queen makes the min raise, 6 5 for Moneymaker. Moneymaker's got to regroup after taking that big blow. He calls. Slowed down. Not three betting. Chris with sixes and an open ender. Great flop for Moneymaker. After check, check, trip sixes for Moneymaker. Seidel drawing dead. Notice that Eric checked in position on the flop. Doesn't like that board texture with Ace Queen, and you can't blame him. After Moneymaker bets 25,000, Seidel calls. Six is full of sevens for Moneymaker on the river. Double paired board is going to make Seidel's ace high that much more attractive. Moneymaker tried to trap. Eric content to check the ace. It looks like a full house. It does look like a full house. Chris might have gotten paid off with a value bet on the river. After spending one hand behind, he retakes the chip lead. Very sneaky. How come you have so much support? I got nobody. I brought most of them. No love here. Give Eric some love, too, now. Yeah, really. I appreciate it, though, very much. Seidel wouldn't mind the support, but mainly he just wants the title after last year's championship loss to Annie Duke. And it's an the ace. ace ices Annie it. Duke, Annie takes the one. first of our best of three final. Okay, I got one on the board. Annie whips. Seidel has evened it at one apiece. This match will go the distance. And it's a straight. And Annie, Annie Duke. Duke with the straight Your becomes the 2010 you. National Heads Up Poker Champion. <laughs> Seidel is 10-1 in this event in the last two years. The only loss, of course, coming in last year's final. Hoping to go one better this year. Oh, look, we got Roman security in the building. <laughs> There's $750,000 on the line with 7-5 suited. Min raised from Eric. Ace-5 from Moneymaker, he calls. We see him again, avoiding the temptation to three bet. Seidel pairs his seven, now with Jackson sevens. Chris checks, Eric bets 25,000, and Chris calls. Moneymaker with aces and jacks to retake the lead. Check, check. Four of clubs on the river, Chris's two pair best. Moneymaker bets 35,000. Tough to lay down unless you give Chris credit for at least a jack, ace, or bigger pocket pair. Eric calls pot to moneymaker. That's it. Chris once again cruising. Doesn't want to get too excited, however. Keep himself disciplined. 
and avoid unraveling all the hard work in just one overplayed pot, like he did with pocket eights. Well, Chris looks alert here. He looks focused, engaged in the match. He's got 9-6, limps in. And they don't want to go out there. That's not a good sign. That's Chris's first button limp in match two. Oh, they want to come home, one. With queen five, Seidel checks. Eric makes top pair, Chris with a gut shot. Check, check. Turn pairs the board, Seidel's queens and tens best. Check, check. Deuce brings a third spade to the board. Eric bets 12,000. He's all done checking. He's gonna try to see if he can't get paid off. But of course, with nine high, no chance Chris is gonna call. But I suppose a raise isn't impossible. Moneymaker figuring Eric would have fired the flop or the turn with a spade draw, queen 10 or a seven, and that he wouldn't be value betting a deuce. Chris had raised the 28,000 side Dell calls and takes the pot. Not a huge mistake by Chris Moneymaker. Wasn't an unreasonable raise. Good hand. Considering the context. Running over me here. What's that? Trying to run over me every hand here. Just as hard as it was for Chris to put Eric on a hand, it was tough for Eric to give Chris credit as well. There's a look at the mindset coach for Moneymaker who's been supporting him all tournament long. It was a 9-6, nine, 9 high. In stark contrast to Seidel, who was snoozing in between matches, Moneymaker was actually getting some extra coaching. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> from his mindset coach, along with Greg Raymer. With 8-5, Seidel's made the min raise. Moneymaker with a 7 he calls. Raising a call, Eric Seidel on the button. Chris pairs his ace, five. Eric is five. That's 25. Moneymaker bets 25,000. Eric calls. Calls. Great lead by Chris, it looks so weak. Deuce misses both players. Check, check. Queen of clubs, Chris's ace is the best hand. They both knuckle the end. Moneymaker will take it down. Chris has got to bet his hand a little more than that. Trying every move in the book. I know to get you to put money in. No, no. Tough, man, you got tough. A lot of sneaky tricks, I'll say What's that? that? You got a lot of tricks up your sleeve. I'm trying everything I know, brother. I'm trying everything <laughs> I know. He doesn't fall for any of them. Using every trick I have. You're watching the 2011 National Heads Up Poker Championship from Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, the home of champions. Presented by GoDaddy.com. Welcome back. Let's go to Leanne with a member of Team Moneymaker. Sam, what exactly is a mindset coach? Well, a mindset coach is someone who helps you perform at your best. Uh, there's things you can control in life, and there's things you can't. Then my focus is just to focus on things you can. How have you been working with Chris? Well, I've been working with Chris for a little bit, and uh, the main thing is making sure he stays focused, and when things don't go the way they're supposed to, to make sure that he realizes the past is the past. It's like driving a car, looking in the rearview mirror. If you do that, you're going to keep crashing. Why do you think Chris came to you? Well, Chris wanted to get more focused, and he wanted to play at his best. And in poker, we know that you can sometimes play your best and still lose, but we want to give the best opportunity to win. Chris obviously lost the first match. What did you tell him in between match one and match two? Again, uh, that's the past. Come in this with a clear head. Just think of this as uh, another match that he's been playing. Uh, but as long as he gives everything he's got, that's all we can ask for. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. The mentally focused moneymaker does have the chip lead right now here in match two. GoDaddy.com pocket cam shows Seidel's king six. He limps in. Suited connectors for moneymaker. He checks. Things have slowed down in the last few pots between these two. Chris makes eights and bets 16,000. 16, right? 16 yeah. 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 Eric calls. Seidel makes Six sixes, but still trails. Chris 30, bets 30,000. Another call from Seidel. 
I like that Chris is willing to fire that second barrel. He wasn't earlier in match one. Moneymaker checks the best hand. Good check. Eric checks. With Seidel's check, Moneymaker takes another pot. Even though he had the best hand, I like the check from Moneymaker. It wasn't impossible for Seidel to have been calling down with threes and have made trips. We heard from Moneymaker's mindset coach, and Moneymaker's mindset got a test in an unexpectedly stressful situation. We're coming down to play uh, on the head, my heads up match, and about eight of us get on the elevator, and it won't move. It won't do anything. We push the button, and it, it just it sits there. So, you know, at first, it's like, oh, this is pretty funny. We're sitting there for a few more minutes. It's not funny anymore. One person in the elevator is starting to freak out a little bit. Finally, someone else steps up and starts prying on the doors. So we push the elevators open and go to get on the next elevator over. But the person who's freaking out says she's going to take the stairs. You've got to be in a pretty good mindset to be able to laugh while stuck in an elevator. This is what Chris tweeted. You've got to be in a pretty warped mindset to tweet instead of call for help. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> At the moment, Moneymaker up over three to two. Trying to even this championship final at one match apiece. Lines are at eight and 16,000. Seidel with 10-9. Makes the min raise. Ace tray for Chris. He re-raises to 68,000. Moneymaker had been taking a break from three betting out of position. Now shifting gears. Eric calls. Only 36,000 more. Eight, Seidel seven, flops yeah. the joint air for yes. Moneymaker. Eric doesn't look like he's going to slow play. After Chris checks, Eric bets 68,000. I'm not bothered by the fact that Moneymaker checked this flop even though he had control and three bet out of position. The texture is so awful for a hand like Ace Three. And you know Seidel doesn't go away easily. Right decision by Chris in this pot. Looks like Moneymaker's a little bit annoyed. Can't blame him. Pretty unfortunate looking board for ace three, and he doesn't want to commit to these pots. Once the pot balloons based on the three bet preflop, you got to make really big continuation bets, and things can get ugly quickly with a hand like ace three on that board. Chris raises to 33,000 with king five. Seidel with five four. He calls. Moneymaker's got Eric in bad shape heading to this flop. Both players pair their five, but Seidel has kicker problems. He checks. Moneymaker bets 40,000. Seidel's definitely not going to fold. He calls. Against some opponents, Eric might have check raised in an effort to win it right here, but Chris is just so sticky. Seidel can only chop this pot. He checks. Moneymaker bets 75,000. That's actually a tougher barrel to fire than it would appear. Gets it done. When Eric check calls on that particular flop, there's always a chance he's got a queen, and you're going to hear from him on the turn if you fire. Good lay down by Eric Seidel. He's just so disciplined. Frustrating to play against an opponent like that. And you heard Moneymaker talk about it earlier. He's thrown the kitchen sink at this guy. And he just doesn't crack. 10-8 suited for Seidel, min raise. Ace-king suited for Moneymaker. Re-raises to 71,000. 71,000 total. Eric calls. I thought we might have seen a four bet out of Seidel. It does feel a bit like Moneymaker's forcing the issue. Eric makes eights. Checks. And Chris cannot connect. When he three bets, sitting on these aces, he just never, ever hits the board. Checks. Six of diamonds on the turn. Chris checks again. Eric can feel comfortable about a pair of eights at this point. He bets 71,000. <laughs> Moneymaker calls. Oh. Moneymaker's not giving Eric credit for any of that board after he checked in position on the flop. Queen of spades, Eric's eights checks. hold. Moneymaker checks. Well, this is impressive. Eric's reaching for chips. He's going to value bet third pair on the end. 
That bet's 142,000. Moneymaker Two calls. Two eights. Good value bet. Seidel will move into the chip lead. You like that 10 8 when I re raising. Felt like Chris had made his mind up to call down once the turn card hit. Problem was, there weren't too many hands Eric Seidel could have been holding that didn't connect with that board by the time the river was dealt. And Moneymaker gives the chip lead away again. The seventh annual National Heads Up Poker Championship, presented by GoDaddy.com, is brought to you by GoDaddy.com, domains, websites, and everything in between. By Caesars, where every day is routinely spectacular. And by ClubWPT.com. We talked about the famed treasure chest dessert from Serendipity 3 here at Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. There it is being prepared. I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> that thing is intimidating. Inside the poker room, Eric Seidel and Chris Moneymaker chasing a different kind of treasure in this best of three championship. Moneymaker with Jack nine raises to 33,000. Seidel with six deuce. Re-raises to 77,000. Notice the minute Eric Seidel picked up the chip lead, he shifted gears. Now he's putting the pressure on Chris Moneymaker. Chris calls. Moneymaker pairs his jack. Eric bets 77,000. Call from Chris. Now that Moneymaker is called, expect Seidel to abandon ship with six high. Trip jacks for Moneymaker. Eric checks. He took his one shot at this pot. Chris bets 105,000. Eric folds, and Chris will take back the chip lead. As usual, Eric Seidel minimizing the damage. Eric in the championship match for the second straight year, but the start of his heads-up career didn't indicate he'd have this kind of success. Eric Seidel, the eight-time bracelet winner, is once again eliminated in the first round at Heads Up. Just can't seem to crack the code in this format. Eric is 0-5 in the first round of this event. Oh, no. Huck. We didn't do you any favors, Eric. Defending Heads Up Poker champion, Huck Seed. I told him if he wins this event three times in a row, we'll have the same record. One, two, three, four. Eric Seidel has turned his fortunes around this year as he continues to roll through the competition. He's headed to his first final table. Just been, uh, it's really been enough to do this after last year. It's, it's great. Eric Seidel's heater continues. He's back in the final and one win away from becoming the 2011 Heads Up Poker Champion. You know, I came so close last year, so it'd be great to win this thing. I'm not sure Huck Seed meant to hit Eric Seidel with the reverse jinx, but it's been working out so far. At least I'm in better position going into the 10-20 level. You had me pretty much destroyed last time at this point. 8-6 for Moneymaker. So it was 10-20. I'm going to be making it 45, so I need that and that. Chris talking about the fact that blinds have gone up to 10 and 20,000. 45,000 total. Seidel with King-Queen. After Moneymaker raised to 45,000, Seidel calls. Drizzled that one out there. <laughs> Chris has tens and eights. Eric checks. Moneymaker bets 50,000. These paired flops, tempting textures to try to run the check raise bluff on. That's what Eric does. He bumps it up to 130,000. Now what do you do if you're Chris Moneymaker? You most certainly aren't going to fold, but if you three bet and then get faced with the four bet, you know you're in trouble. He calls. This is the disciplined and conservative approach. I like it. Six of diamonds, no help to Seidel, but will he continue to be aggressive? He's got to think about what Chris could have after calling the check raise on the flop. An eight, a 10, or even seven, nine, not at all out of the question. Eric bets 160,000. He's asking Chris a question here. Are you willing to continue with your hand for that big bet? And he gets his answer. 
Seidel steals one to take back the chip lead. Chris is clearly giving Seidel credit for at least a better eight. If you're gonna do that when a card like the six rolls off on the turn, though, why did you call the flop? You like that 10-8, maybe. <laughs> mm, it seems to be the hand that's hurting me a lot. You can't count on Eric just to check the turn after you call the check raise on the flop. Seidel with jack 10, min raise, six tray for Chris. He re-raises to 100,000. I don't like the timing here. Chris's table image has been compromised a touch. Seidel four bets it to 250,000. Sixth sense situation for Eric Seidel has nothing to do with his jack 10. This is something you develop over years of being a professional. Moneymaker Mux, hot to Seidel. Something else that happened there is right after Chris Moneymaker put in the three bet, he looked up at Eric Seidel. And that's the kind of thing normally somebody who's concerned about what you're holding would do. Eric picked up on that to make the move. Seidel up over three to two. Jack seven for Chris. Min raise. 40,000 total. Ace deuce for Eric. He calls. Chris makes 40. Eric calls. Eric pairs his ace checks. and checks. Chris bets 55,000. He's pushing. Seidel calls. Eric calls. Moneymaker should get off the gas here if Eric checks it to him. Moneymaker with the gut shot. Seidel yes. still way out in front. He checks. Chris bets 120,000. That board texture on the flop isn't draw heavy. It's not the kind of board that lends well to Chris firing this second barrel. Eric calls. A call from Eric Seidel. Here's a river. River pairs Eight the board. Space. Seidel's aces and eights the best hand. He checks for the third time. Check from Eric. Gonna let Moneymaker hang himself. He bets 180,000. That's a polarizing bet. And what I mean by that is Eric now is going to either put Chris Moneymaker on a very big hand, something like a bigger ace, or having backed into those running eights, or complete air. Eric knows Moneymaker is three-barrel bluff equipped. Seidel's call gives him a huge pot. Hi. Oh, Eric Seidel takes a huge pot here. Good hand. The chips are the obvious damage that just took place. Don't you got my number, sir. But looking at Chris Moneymaker's body language, it's the psychological damage that is the real story. Moneymaker at one point held a two to one chip lead, is now down better than six to one, and down 1-0 in matches. A complete collapse feels imminent. Serendipity 3's treasure chest dessert being eaten at Caesars Palace Las Vegas, but in the poker room, we're still eyeing the main course. That's like three hours of time lapse right there. I just want you to know that. <laughs> Tough that. It was designed not to do that, but good call. Very good call. Almost the exact hand I put you on. GoDaddy.com pocket cam showing Seidel's suited 8-6. He min raises. I'm all in. Chris goes all in with King 5. Chris has moved all in. With the blinds at 10 and 20,000, he's in that range. Seidel folds. Moneymaker knows he's going to have to double up more than once to climb back into this match. And those double ups are hard to come by, especially against a guy like Eric Seidel. Chris with King Jack. He'll be ready to go to war with those cards. 
He raises to 45,000. Raises 45,000 total. 8-6 eight, for Seidel. Chris? He calls. Eric makes the call. Chris king, pairs his king. Checks. Eric checks. Eric checks. Moneymaker bets 50,000. Seidel raises to 130,000. He's tried this play on more than one occasion against Moneymaker. Works out nicely when Chris misses. But when he makes top pair, Moneymaker goes all, all in, in again. This is the kind of thing that can happen. Now, it's not a crime that Chris shipped it, but with 205 behind, he could have smooth called and tried to get the rest in on the turn. And it takes it up. Another fold from Eric. To be fair, Seidel probably wasn't going to put another dime into that pot with 8-6. Regardless of the result of this tournament, Eric Seidel's already achieved a major distinction among the biggest names in poker. Pretty good company up on your screen. At the end of this event, Seidel will slide into the number one slot, guaranteed at least 300 grand, regardless of the results of the final. You know, I think these all-time stats are kind of fun to look at, but I don't take them too seriously. But it's fun. It's something to shoot for. The figures on that list are comprised of money won in both open and invitational events, not unlike this one. Anytime you can make it to that number one spot, deserves a lot of respect. King 10 suited for Moneymaker. He raises to 45,000. King 45, deuce for Seidel. He calls. And call. Here's the flop. Chris makes 10s. Seidel's in rough shape with King deuce. After check, check, both players turn the gut shot. Seidel can no longer win this pot. He can only chop or get Chris off his hand. Eric bets 30,000 and Chris calls. Seven of clubs, moneymaker's 10 still good. Eric checks. Chris bets 35,000. And Seidel pays off with King High. Credit Chris Moneymaker. Some players may have shut down with an ace and a queen on the board, but he figured a pair of tens were the best hand. And value bet him like he knew it, earning an extra 35000 in the process. Chris Moneymaker has regrouped since being down over 6-1 to one in chips, and that discipline has him on the uptick here in match two. Welcome back to Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, and the National Heads Up Poker Championship presented by GoDaddy.com. Playing against Derek, it may take two days. Tough. So good. Chris Moneymaker has cut deeply into Eric Seidel's lead in match two of our best of three championship. Moneymaker with King 10 of Diamonds again. He raises to 65,000. The 130K difference in chips here is less than five big blinds. This is very much anyone's match. With 5-4, Seidel calls. Trip fives on the flop for Seidel. Moneymaker with air. 15 the hard way. After Eric checks, Chris bets 75,000. I smell smoke. Eric raises to 175,000. Chris goes all in. Whoa! I call. Eric calls. Hey, that's my World Series hand. Three fives. I said smoke, not spontaneous combustion. Uh, well played, Eric. You've got my number. I played this well. Unless Chris gets a little help, it could be all Here's over. Seidel could have this championship locked up on the turn. Six and of clubs, moneymaker drawing five. dead. Eric Seidel has reached the summit and is the 2011 National Heads Up Poker Champion. He certainly earned it. All right, good job. The field that began with 64 players now has just one left standing. After losing in the finals last year, Eric Seidel has been crowned the seventh national heads-up poker champion. Let's go down to Leanne for the trophy presentation.
Congratulations, Eric. Thank you. Chris, what made you decide to bluff on that last hand? Well, I didn't think he had a five, first of all. Uh, you know, I, I literally I tried everything I could try. I did check raises, I did bluffs, I tried to trap. I, I tried every trick I know. He's a great champion, and he just he beat me today, and he, he beat me last year, so, you know, hats off to him. Is 5-4 now your unlucky hand? Well, no, I still, I, like he said, I'm still profitable in the hand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad paycheck for second place, right? No, I'm happy. You know, I, I you know, the first match I, I didn't play my best, but the second match, I mean, I literally, I, I was trying to think in my head, what else can I do? And he had an answer for everything, and uh, he played fantastic. Great run, very impressive. Thank you very much. Thank you. Eric, now your championship ring presented to you by GoDaddy girl Candace Michelle. It's from John Paradiso Jewelers. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you. thank you, very nice. And now your championship trophy from Caesar himself. Congratulations. Thank you. That's a serious trophy. Right. And Eric, probably the best part of the day, your $750,000 payday. That's very nice. Not Thank bad, you. huh? You made the win seem effortless, was it? Oh, not at all, no, no, no. Uh, Chris really put the heat on, and uh, I had the best of the cards the first match, and the second match, you know, I was just lucky to flop a five, but he was, he was putting the heat on. He really, he really knows how to keep pressure on. Talk a little bit about this year for you in poker. Is this the best year of your career? Oh, yeah, it's the best year of my career by far, yeah. All right, I think dinner's on you tonight. Congratulations. <laughs> all right, thanks. So Eric Seidel is your 2011 champion. For Craig Hummer and Ali Najad, I'm Leanne Tweeden saying so long from Caesars Palace. You've been watching the National Hills of Poker Championship. Seventh year of this tournament, can you believe that? Everything happens for a reason. Okay, sir, I'm going to play. You're gonna have to take him in the back and give him a whooping. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Yeah, big, right? <laughs> Small. I feel a little loose. Let me squeeze this baby. Stop shaking. It's kind of a predict. This can't tell the truth. I just have to lie. Be prepared for him to steamroll. Be nice. Can you teach me fundamentals? I knew one, eh, baby. Remember the signal. Ah, snap call. Now we don't be hit. You can't keep a straight face. Yeah. <laughs> don't explode. If you keep staring at me, I will. Come on. Oh, hey, uh. <laughs> 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 the power. He's tough and he's hot. I don't really know how to respond to that. I'm turning over a new leaf. Live dangerously, I say. That's all she wrote. <laughs> what does Phil Locke's brain look like? I don't know, but it does not look like a human brain. It looks like the inside of a beehive. Just like it's a zoo in there, monkeys jumping around. I picture like a box of frogs just like hopping around maniacally. He's got, you know, like, like alien brains. Oh, sorry. There's like a hamster wheel. A lot of cobwebs. In my mind, it kind of looks like cotton candy. Think of the family. In the back left upper region, there's a little miniature professor with a chalkboard. We make our deals in the parking lot. On the other side of my brain, there's like a little chip to uh, get transmissions from the spacecraft. Much like Einstein, he's leaving the damn thing to science when he goes. Sweat is when you're all in. Your cards are turned over and you can see that maybe you're uh, quite a big underdog. When you have a situation where your life could change with the turn of a card. Espondiari hits his wheel. Antonio gets a win in the first round. He's got to be relieved. A sweat is when you have all your money in the pot and there's one card to come. And pray that you make it all the way to the river. Cheadle hits the five-outer and doubles up. There's nothing you can do but sit there and watch and, and hope. It's kind of uh, this feeling of intense emotion. Emmett Smith moving on. What just happened? If ever there was a time to not be so liberal with the aces. Aces oh. and sixes for Liv. Sweating a player is when you sit behind them and watch them play and root for them. They sweat for you by watching you play and emotionally pulling for you to win. Heard you were giving uh, Emmett some coaching. Well, why are you trying to do me like that? More like a conversation. <laughs> Maybe they even have a stake in you, so there's a there's a reason for them to be rooting for you. This is the revenge, Lily versus Tilly. I got my girl power. You yeah. Know? I got your back. Don't worry. Now I need specifically one card. The grinder is going on, and Locke nice. is felted. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> this is why he has like a 
living room filled with cash, you know, because he's thinking all the time, you know? It's yours. Now you can put some cash in there. It was so strange losing to I just, it just felt so strange. I was like, wow, I just lost, didn't I? I lost this thing. How did I do? My game is on fire. He's got a whooping coming. Should be getting pretty exciting. I can't be beat, and I won't be beat. Oh, a heater's just lovely. Your chips just go da-da-da-da-da-da. That's when you're just winning every single pot. It doesn't matter whether you're playing well or playing badly. You're just winning every hand. And it is and you're running good, you're playing good, and you just win every pot. And when you're on a heater, everybody is afraid to play with you. And no matter how bad you play, you just can't lose. A heater is something I would very much like to go on. And you just go on such a hot streak. Hits every flop, hits every river, making all the right decisions. The deck is smacking you up, and it's bliss. It's easy for him to win. He's just winning everywhere. It's when you're on an extraordinarily good run. In the old world of poker, it's when you were, you know, packing heat in case a guy showed a card that you shouldn't have. A heater is when you're winning a ton of money, no one can stop you. <laughs> you're on fire. It's when you're on a huge rush of cards. Chris Moneymaker. The heater's when things are going really well for you. Chris Moneymaker is in the finals. When you go in the round for like a while. Eric Seidel will move on. That's when a guy just gets on fire. I've never seen one. Something that you need when it's 17 below zero. So you just can do no wrong. Eric Seidel back to back finals appearances. Heater is when you're winning a lot of money. If you can push in with any two cards, you just know you're going to win. <laughs> The heater is Eric Seidel in 2011. Eric Seidel is your champion of 2011. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. <laughs>